Now we're surrounded by such beautiful pieces of your work, mixed media art. Tell me about your art and tell me about your different projects. Most of the art that you're seeing right now are from my latest exhibit called Meditations and Beautiful Distractions. It was up for a month at the Runnymede Public Library in Toronto and it features eight new works on Buddha. So all the pieces that you see uh, have images of Buddha, probably statues, and they're combined with different things. In this particular one, I chose to use a lot of flowers. So you'll notice it's kind of like the calm meditation of the Buddha with beautiful distractions. So the flowers, the brightness of the, uh, of the colors. My mom uh, was uh, hospitalized uh, last November for three months and it was a very trying period. And when I started preparing for this show, I knew that I wanted to use images of Buddha, but because it was a difficult time and because she came out of it and it was during the springtime, I felt that maybe using flowers and beautiful bright colors would sort of speak to her healing, new beginnings, spring. So I wanted it to be happy and positive. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Durga piece you have back here and the inspirations behind using the Hindu gods and goddesses. Well, actually the inspiration for this piece, I responded to a call for submission. They were looking for pieces that reflected the number 13. I started doing my research and sure enough, Number 13 also represents like the feminine, the cycles of the woman. And I thought, well, this is interesting. And then Durga came up. I just loved what she represented, the victory of good over evil. So therefore, I found this beautiful image of Durga. And the orange circles are the full moon. So I incorporated 13 full moons to represent also the feminine element to the piece. And what about your Ganesh piece? Because Ganesh is always the first Hindu god that we all pray to for good yes, luck and yes. to remove obstacles and That's for guidance. Right. Mm -hmm. What sort of inspired these pieces? Well, it's exactly what you just said. I love Ganesh. I think he's probably my favorite Hindu god. I love how he looks. I love the story of how Ganesh was born. And also, there's 108 names for Ganesh. Remover of obstacle, Lord of Music. Your latest collection is called Meditations and Beautiful Distractions. And you told me that cutting paper and just the art of the mixed media piece is quite meditative for you. How do you want that message to come across in your artwork and how has the public sort of responded to that? Generally, I want people to feel what I feel. When I'm creating it, it's very true. I do feel a great sense of peace and serenity. When you're looking at the pieces, I, I want that to kind of come through. 